have an interconference affair lined up for you today as the Philadelphia 76ers come in for this one. Glad to have you with us for more NBA action. Along with Steve Smith and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And our friend on the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge, we'll be hearing from shortly. To take a look at the Pacers, they return victorious from an undefeated road trip back to the loving embrace of their hometown faithful. And right now for the Pacers, they haven't gotten anywhere near where they wanted to be this season. Pretty clear there's a big talent gap between them and the true contenders. And we've all thought this. They're just a middle-of-the-road team. The last thing anyone in the NBA wants to be. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Robinson. Malone is out there with Pippen. Then it's Jordan. And it's Stockton in at the point guard position. Outside Pippen. From deep Jordan. And already, Greg, we're seeing some of the new wrinkles that players have added to their game. No doubt. The, the work doesn't end when the season does. And if you're trying to improve your skills or if you're trying to pack on good weight, that kind of stuff needs to get done during the offseason. Shots good by Turner. Miles Turner's got the first points of the night for the Pacers. Putting on the hard hat there. Give Turner credit for staying locked in on capitalizing no matter what. Malone kicks to Stockton. Off target from three-point range. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Shot clock at six. Indiana needs to get a shot off from deep three-point range. And it's Levert missing. And here comes the break. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I had a chance to talk with the head coach for the visiting team. And with this team, it's all about getting out in transition and using their team speed. He said, look, if we get a rebound, we got to be off to the races. This has to be a track meet. So we may have a wild one tonight, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Now here's Jordan. After Malcolm Brogdon's miss. Michael Jordan. Right on the bucket. They finally hit one after missing three straight. And for the Pacers, they come in off a great outing against Cleveland. Brogdon outside. Passes it to Levert. Down low, Turner. A shot that time, not on target. Good D by Jordan. Here's Robinson. Count the bucket coming David off a perfectly Robinson. placed assist. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Rocked in the pass to Sabonis. Jordan against Levert. Back to Sabonis. Right side Warren. It's hauled in by Pippen. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a score Jordan. like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. Yeah, they look right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise. minutes in. 
Sabonis feeling it out a bit. Pass to Brogdon. Six on the shot clock. Warren against Pippen and stolen by Jordan. And they're running. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And it's Pippen with the jam. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Now, here's Brogdon. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. The shot by Turner, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. And so, Levert will bring it up for the Pacers. Six-point game. Brogdon outside. Malone against Levert. And he drives in. Banked in off the glass. And how about the playmaking skills of Levert? I, I like watching this guy break down the D in the pick and roll. Stockton kicks to Pippen. Jordan against Levert with the fadeaway. Second shot opportunity. Malone gets the bucket. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Rogged in the pass to Sabonis. Jordan against Levert. Outside Warren. Shot clock at five. The kick out to Sabonis. A three-pointer is right on target. I mean, Fournier is just nuts yeah. these days. 6'11 guys like Sabonis. Zero fear shooting the rock. And it's slammed in by Malone. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty <laughs> on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Rockin' finds Sabonis. Now, here's Levert. Levert's gone one of three on the night. And the pass to Stockton. Back to Malone. Outside for Stockton. Good on the three point shot. Oh, great ball movement there. Pacers trail by eight. Brogdon with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Levert against Jordan. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now, here's Brogdon. Pass to Levert. To halt the run. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. Pacers ball. And Indiana making a change here. McConnell's checked in, and the Pacers call time here. Nice game. Great performance by Carl Malone. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. Some numbers for Jeremy Lamb. And here's McConnell. Just five on the clock. 
Three-pointer, Levert at the line by Indiana. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Here's Ewing, and he converts the layup. Patrick Ewing. Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Lamb passes to Sabonis, looking to end the run, and the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. Now here's Pippen, back to Malone. Outside Pippen. Back to Malone. Terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. Scotty Pippen. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. McConnell passes to Levert. No good off the back of the rim. And well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Scotty you know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's LaVert. Gets in and hoping this is the start of a new trend. Two for eight now from the field. And got to push LaVert out of that area because he's very comfortable looking to score from there. Stockton against Turner. Stockton passes to Ewing. Back to Stockton. Beyond the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Stockton. Stockton's got six. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Now McConnell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Turner falls through. He's now made two of four. Simply overpowers the defense. Turner's strength is of great value for his team. And Kevin, when we talk about new age bigs in the NBA, one of the first I think of is Miles Turner. Here's a guy who has led the league in blocks, but can also stretch the floor. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Pacers trail by 17. McConnell passes to Turner. He dishes it to Lamb. And the foul called on ABC. That is his first foul of the game. His first in 2018-19, not only did Turner lead the NBA in swats, he also shot almost 40%, Greg, on his threes. And, and you go back just like 10 years ago, you, you'd never think we'd see players with the skill set of Turner. But this is how the game has evolved. And, and guys like Turner are just so valuable for teams to have. Here's a bonus. Passes it to McConnell. Lock at six. Here's Brissett. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Drexler dishes to Ewing. Pacers foul. Torrey Craig. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. This is his at first the chance at the line tonight. Team, Patrick Ewing. Two shots. Good from Ewing. Mullins checked in for John Stockton. And so he hits both. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Trailing by 19. Outside, Lamb. Back to Sabonis. Outside, Lamb. Six to shoot. 
to the right side. Here's McConnell. There's a bonus. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Sabonis has got five. A tireless rebounder. Sabonis gives his team an edge on the glass. Johnson can't get it to go. Pacers trail by 17. Here's Craig. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Outside, Lamb. Pass to Sabonis. Lays it up off the glass. Well, we've seen that movie a few times. Having an easy bucket in the paint. Lamb against Johnson. The pass to Bird. Ewing, good. Patrick Ewing. He has six. And loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. Lamb passes to Sabonis. Outside, Lamb. Back to McConnell. There's 42 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And Ewing with the block. Mullen against Craig. Shoots from 14. Here's Bird. One up, one down. Larry Two points Bird. with his first shot this game. Already, they've piled up eight second chance points. Lamb passes to Sabonis. Outside, Lamb. To the paint. Right block shot. And Sabonis finishes it off. Great start for him. 4-4. Four, four. He could be in for a big game. Here's Johnson. Uses the glass to finish Magic the lane. Johnson. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Up 19. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. Pacers trail by 19. McConnell and Lamb in the backcourt. Then it's Sabonis. Then it's Torrey Craig. And it's Brissett in a power forward. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Pacers. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Good evening, Kevin. Malcolm Brogdon has become a Pacers stalwart. He said, I fit the identity of this team as an underdog that overperforms and proves me wrong. Patrick it has to be the leader of this team. I lead with my voice and by example. I'll be fearless on the court so that my teammates can follow. Kevin? I love what he's about, David. Thank you. McConnell passes to Sabonis. Craig with it. Outside, Lamb. Down to five on the shot clock. Craig kicks to McConnell. The three. They get it again. Great defense that time from Ewing. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Drexler passes to Johnson. Back to Drexler. Front pass the arc. It's rebounded by Indiana. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Here's the three. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Johnson kicks to Ewing. Pass to Bird. 
They double team Bird. Drexler outside. Mullen dishes to Johnson. Fires the three. Great play by Bird to set it up. Johnson's got his second basket of the night. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Back to Lamb. Floats one up, and he lays it up and in. Lamb's got five. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Johnson surveying the floor. Here's Ewing. Here's Drexler. And good work on the board. They pick up the second chance points. Continuing to show activity on the offensive glass. Second chance buckets have been huge. Now about three minutes gone in his second quarter of basketball. Sabonis inside. He's guarded by Ewing. Whistle blows. And that's going to be a travel. Away and team every ball. year we see Greg Checking some incredible in comebacks. What distinguishes in your mind those with the resilience to battle back? I think it starts with a belief and desire. And the great ones truly hate to lose. Catching up on the changes now for Indiana. Warren comes in for Demonis Sabonis. And Malcolm Rogers subbed in for Lamb. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Passes it to Warren. To the inside. Chris Beck. Johnson with the block. Here's Bird. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. T.J. Warren picks one up. Yeah, and every generation or so, a player comes along who can be considered a true superstar. Folks, that's Larry Bird. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. That free throw missing. Some changes for Indiana. Turner comes in for Percet, and it's Lavert in for TJ McConnell. And the second free throw, good. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Now, here's Brogdon. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Lavert with it. Robinson picks him up, goes up on the wing. Robinson with the block. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. To the middle. And Trexler throws it down. And the insane peripheral vision there. If anyone's open, even for an instant, Magic's going to find you. And the Pacers call time here. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Jordan.
Turner passes to Levert. They need this. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. A whole tricky shot for Levert. Defense is all over him, but he draws a foul on that attempt. The Pacers shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Improving so much since his rookie season. I can't wait to see the next step Levert makes in his career. Levert hits both of them. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Here's Johnson, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First personal foul. First trip to the line for him here. Shooting for the away team, Magic Johnson, taking two shots. That's good from Johnson. So Johnson hits two of them. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Brogdon with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Levert against Robinson. Six on the shot clock. And here is Warren. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Showing some assertiveness inside. Warren knows you can't beat the defense if you play scared. Johnson with the bounce pass. Outside Robinson. He feeds it to Jordan. And it's Jordan Michael with the jam. Jordan. And if you look at this first half, overall, they've just had the better shot selection. What they have done is ran their plays all the way through until they get something they like. For three, Brogdon. And the three ball is good. Brogdon's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Outside Jordan. Pass to Leitner. Outside Pippen. Now Johnson. A floater, and it's sent back by Turner. And I would not test Turner. And Miles has led the NBA in blocks and just has great timing on his jumps. And there's the pass to Craig. Outside to Brockton. Great D that time from Johnson. Brockton's gone one of three from the field here. Johnson outside. Shoots over Turner. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first personal foul. Two shots. Third team foul. Five. Elbow. Two. These are the his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Magic Johnson. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. He's in attack mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line, something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. Malone's checked in for Leitner. Listen! 
And both free throws good for Johnson. And so Levert will bring it up for the Pacers. Malone against Gray. Brogdon looking it over. Pass to Levert. All sorts of time. And it's Malone with the rebound. Malone's got his fifth rebound in this one. And they keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Love the show of force there from Robinson. When, when he's deep inside, it is clear for takeoff. Poked away. Step back shot. That one a little long. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Pippen, the pass to Robinson. And it's good for two. Robinson. Robinson's got his third bucket of the night. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Now Brogdon. Over Robinson. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Pass on David Robinson. And the defense comes at Brogdon hard, but he shoots through. Good technique helped him to get that one off. Well, it's one of the things most fans don't Malcolm notice, but Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon, Greg, is one of the best free throw shooters ever. How about had a year where he shot 93% from the line to lead the NBA, and for his career, just about a 90% Shoot percent shooter. That's a huge advantage for a point guard like Brogdon, a guy who handles the ball late in close games. And he makes the first. And he's the glue that holds this team together. Brogdon's calm demeanor and lead-by-example approach is so valuable to this squad. Stockton's checked in for Johnson. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. The drive by Jordan, and they double up Jordan. Indiana and slashing foul. there by Here's Jordan, Jordan. gets up to That's speed in a hurry, foul. just Fourth impossible to stay in front of. This is Should his first free throw of the game. Michael Jordan at the line for two. Free throw good, Jordan. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally in terms of effort and in terms of their performance. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Indiana with it. Bounce pass Levert. And Turner kicks to Brockton. Back to Turner. He passes it to Brockton. Now here's Turner. Stolen by Robinson. Stockton outside. Trying to find Pippen. He's got it now. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. And the call will be against Karis LeVert. That'll be his second that's foul his of the game. And that's a couple of very foul. shaky possessions in a row. One turnover right after the other. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Robinson, David that's Robinson. good. How many times have we seen a possession take that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Rocked in the pass to Warren. Here's Levert. Six points for him. 
Back to Brogdon. Five to shoot. Long deep. That shot, no good. Jordan with some nice deep. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Jordan. Jordan's got six points in the quarter. Here in the second quarter, he's looking much more comfortable with his offense. Stockton against Brogdon. Pass to Levert. Driving in. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Inside. Stolen away. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Trying to end the drought. Shooting oh, foul as the whistle blows. David He'll Robinson. shoot two free throws. That's his second personal That's foul. That's on David Robinson. Third team foul. The Pacers have been solid at the line so That's far. Line. Four for four. For the Pacers. Yeah, looking over their percentage Kevin's on the season, I two. think they will be thrilled Shots. with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. Some changes for Indiana. Lamb is checked in for Torrey Craig. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Brogdon. And he sinks the second. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Here's Ewing outside for Stockton. Offline with his three. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence Two to drill the three. In the first half. Two minutes. Now, here's Warren. Jordan with some nice D. 144 left to play here in the second quarter. And the slam dunk Scotty by Pippen. Pippen. Yeah, you, you gotta love the recognition there. Stockton just so unselfish, always looking to find the open man. Warren the pass to Levert. Just five to shoot. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. Now the pass to Jordan. Shoots over Levert. Offensive rebound. Here's Ewing. And it's sent back by Turner. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Turner. Sabonis, he's checked in for the Pacers. Brissett comes in for Karis Levert. Ah. 56 seconds left in the first half of the game. Lock at six. Good on the triple. Chris Mullen. And this is where Mullen Three. is most dangerous. A consistent three-point shooter with textbook form. Lamb against Drexel. And Lamb kicks to Warren. And the foul Mullen called on ABC. John that is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. Thirty-five seconds left in the first half. Sabonis finds McConnell. Driving inside. And Ewing sends it back. And his struggles continue. Just still scoreless and, and just can't seem to take John a little. Stockton. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed. And that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Warren with the ball.
from outside the arc, and the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And Ewing, also a dependable defender. Terrific at taking away space from shooters and, and just trying to make them uncomfortable. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Delivering the blowout. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much with Rick Carlisle. Coach, what needs to happen on the defensive end to get back on track? Well, a lot of things need to get better. Uh, our level of force defensively is not there. We got to pick it up. You know, we got to play with a lot more collective force. We'll see if you can bring the noise more as the game goes on. Thanks very much. Back to you. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, what was your impression? What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. And over to you, big fella. Your thoughts on the Pacers' first half. I know it's not the case, but it seemed like they were lacking on the offensive game plan. Maybe some guys were improvising when they should have been making the next pass, but hey, not looking good out there. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. with the second half upon us we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be a fantastic game from magic johnson in this one man he's been running wild on him through that first half absolute dynamite on offense this is his challenge to continue to dominate to help them try to close strong here in the second half and after a very lopsided first half We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. Pippen is out there with Bird. Then it's Stockton. Then it's Robinson. And it's Drexler in at the shooting guard. Something T.J. Warren has to his credit, Greg, is one of the more storied honors a basketball player can earn. The ACC Player of the Year Award. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of Hall of Famers who've won Paul that prize Jackson. to set yourself apart like Warren did in one of the toughest conferences in college basketball. That just shows the depth of talent this man has always possessed. Avert against Bird. Offensive rebound. Sabonis with the bucket. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. And Stockton is simply one of the best, especially when it comes to finding people on the floor. Outside, Sabonis. Stockton against Rogdon. Indiana moving it around. As to Warren. Clock at four. Rebound by Pippen. Pippen's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Oh, and the jam by Bird. Yeah, and in every since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. And they recover it. Here's Turner. A beautiful reverse lay. Turner's got six points. The effort points by Turner, working hard inside, getting rewarded with some points. And here's Bird for three. Here's Robinson, and it's sent back by Turner. And here's Levert. He's got nine. Warren, the pass to Brogdon. There 
Here's the call on Malcolm Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon. That'll be his second That's foul his second of the game. Foul. And really just a great play Checking to sacrifice his body and take Carl the charge. Malone. Michael we Jordan. have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Stockton against Brogdon. Stockton kicks to Malone. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Sabonis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Jordan against Levert. Over Jordan. And it's Levert missing. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Malone trying to break free. Stockton's shot is off. Brogdon, here we go. And he uses the glass on the lane. He has seven. Underrated as an athlete. Brogdon's speed helps him get to where he wants to be. The open shot. Stockton cans the shot with nobody near him. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Brogdon outside. Levert against Robinson. Looking to get it going. And the layup good by Levert. Levert's got 11 points. That's just the case of Levert wanting it more. The wing playing put some heart there, taking those two points. Stockton, the offensive rebound, and it's blocked. Levert against Jordan. Levert up top. He's got 11. Just five on the clock. And clock. That one goes careening off the glass. And there you see why Robinson is, is the anchor of this defense. Massive wingspan easily allowing him to turn away shots. A shot by Jordan. No good. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. Levert against Robinson, and it's Levert missing. He has gone ice cold this quarter, obviously not helping their calls. Here's Stockton. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Pippen against Warren. Pass to Sabonis. And he gets it back. And guys, we see more of this every year. Simonis looking for his own offense. Stockton against Brogdon. Here's Malone. Here's Jordan. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his third personal foul. It's on Harris Levert. Wow, wow, he got whacked on oh, that, which shouldn't be much Michael debate there. Jordan. On the night, he's gone two, two for two at the stripe. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. Some changes for Indiana. Tory Craig comes in for Warren. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Levert. And so Jordan nails both of them. Now Brogdon. He's got seven. Over Jordan. Good D by Jordan. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Good on Michael the shot. Jordan. Jordan's got 12. By and the way Magic Jordan Johnson. attacks, the ferocity of his drives does an exceptional job scoring after contact. Johnson against McConnell. Over Johnson. A shot by McConnell. No good. 
The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Tries it from 19. Pippen misses. And so here is Indiana. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Down low, here's Sabonis. He couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. And some changes here for the Pacers. Brissett has checked in for Turner, and Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Sabonis. So it's the visitors now. Here's Johnson. He's got 11. Malone, left side. Johnson, the pass to Malone. Count it, good. 12 points for him. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Bounce pass from McConnell. Here's Brissett. Buries it down low. Brissett's got his first two points of the night. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Here's Johnson. Feeds it to Malone. And stolen by McConnell. Inside. Here's Brogdon. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. Nine points for Malcolm Brogdon. And the size and muscle of Brogdon. Able to shrug off the contact with ease on the way up. The drive by Jordan. The rebound by Brogdon. Brogdon's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. The rebound by Johnson. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken. And the team is suffering the consequences. Jordan Michael with the Jordan. bucket. And they had assists now on their last Johnson. three baskets. And here are the Pacers now. Pass to Brissette. There's the pass to Brogdon. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Michael Jordan. And Greg with recent legal results. More opportunities now for compensation for college athletes. Uh, do you like it? I do. I mean, there's enough money going around. I don't have a problem with the athletes getting a share, uh, especially with the amount of time and effort and energy they have to commit. Let's take care of the guys. Let them enjoy the collision experience. First free throw is good. Ewing's checked in for Carl Malone. Brogdon hits them both. Here's Johnson. 11 points in the game. That one goes. Counted. Johnson. Johnson's got 13 points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Back to McConnell. And Lamb kicks to McConnell. Brogdon outside. From outside, off the mark. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. Mullen. Tries again. Ewing can't get it to go. Now, here's Brogdon. He's got 11. Johnson with the block. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. Right side, Mullen. Fires the three. That drops, and it Chris comes Mullen. off an assist from Jordan. Jordan's got assist number seven for him tonight. Mullen's gone 50% so far. Two of four shooting. Pass to Brogdon. Over Jordan. Good D by Jordan. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. 
Here's Johnson. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting Johnson. a 5 for 8 clip. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. McConnell passes to Craig. And a wide open look for Lamb. And just miss after miss right now. Lamb's gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field. Johnson against Brogdon. Passes to Leitner. Ball's knocked loose. And it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. That one off McConnell. Yoga Bitadze's checked in for Tory Craig. And there's a minute 45 left in the third. On the wing, Lamb. Back to McConnell. Pass to Brissett. And Ewing with the block. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. Five to shoot. Here's Bitadze. Rodden in against Johnson. Makes that one his Magic sixth Johnson. of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Back to McConnell to end the run. Johnson with the block. To the middle, trying to find Bird. He's got it now. And good coming off the Larry assist by Bird. Magic Johnson. Johnson's got five assists in the game. Bird's gotten three of his five shots to go here. McConnell passes to be Johnson. Kicks the lamp. And the foul Larry called on ABC. Chris That's his first foul. That's his first and Indiana foul. making a change here. Warren's checked in. On to the court for the Pacers, T.J. Warren. Thirty-five seconds left in the third. They get it back. Reset. No good. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out or do you let your guys try to fight Magic through it? Johnson. You've got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Warren with the ball. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Warren's got four points in the quarter. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Delivering the blowout. We've got more in store for you right after this. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Whatever the offense requires, that has to be your mindset. Always thinking team first. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And it's Sumner in at the one spot. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Kicks it out to Drexler. Mullen with the three. It's rebounded by Indiana. Holiday looking over the floor. Drexler with the steal. 
teardrop shot. Here's Bird. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Bird's gotten it done so far from the field tonight, making four of his six attempts. The pass to Orte. Over Drexler. Ewing gets the rebound. Ewing's got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Indiana and the call on the shot Sumner. sends him to the line. That's his first All right, foul. Greg, I'm going to put you first on the spot. Foul. Who do you think right now has the best backcourt in the NBA? Oh, Larry my Bird. goodness. I mean, Two so shots. many terrific backcourts to choose from. You know, Phoenix has got to be in that conversation with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. But I'll tell you what, with the Splash Brothers healthy Take and back Take at it, it's Who's just up? hard to beat that combination. The first one falls. Porter's checked in for Mullen. That one falls, so he hits both of them. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Here's Sumner. He's covered by Stockton. Sumner passes Duarte. Right side Holiday. Shot clock at five. With the shot. And Ewing with the block. Porter dishes to Drexler. Stockton outside. Over Holiday. Stockton's shot is off. And here's Indiana. Here's Duarte. From 13. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Stockton left side. Up top, Bird. To the inside, Porter, and the bucket Indiana is good. Three-point play That's chance here for him. That's his first the strength from the big fella. Porter is used to having to power through contact. For the away team. And Steve, you played in a different era. Do you look a little differently at all the hugs and handshakes between opposing players these days? No, not at all, Kevin. It's just totally different. These guys been knowing each other for a long time. You know, with youth basketball, I think the competition on the court. It speaks for itself, so I think our game is still in good hands. Free throw good, Porter. And the ceiling so high for Porter. A versatile, effective forward who does so many things well. To the paint. Pass to Holiday. Here's Duarte. Some nice passing here by Indiana. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Indiana. And Barrett slams it in. Aggressive That's and his first physical. Personal. Barrett creating the contact there to draw the foul. Working it's on consistency with that Jim jumper. Barrett. You can see that Barrett has one. improved his shooting mechanics. Much more repeatable motion now. Leitner's checked in for Ewing. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one falls for Barrett. You can see Barrett looks a lot more comfortable now from every spot, Greg, on the floor. From three, mid-range, the free throw line. When he knocks down shots, defenders have to creep up to stay connected. And that's when he can put the ball on the floor and get by people. Passes it to Sumner. They could use a bucket. 
And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Porter passes to Stockton. Good, and a nice assist John from Stockton. Porter. Yeah, that's a three great points. shot. Third three of the game for him, first in this half. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Marte passes to Sumner. Tipped away. Sabonis kicks to Sumner. Pass to Duarte. Here's Bitadze. He's covered by Stockton. Bitadze can't hit. Stockton right side. That one misses. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. Holiday, the pass to Sabonis. Here's Sumner. Greg, last season, we saw a lot of opinions about the play-in tournament, especially from players. Where did you fall on that thing? Well, I I'm going to put on my fan hat right now, Kevin, and I thought it was exciting. I mean, seeing the stakes get raised for those teams that are right on the edge, I think it brings more interest for teams. But if I was still playing, I probably wouldn't like it if I had locked up the playoffs and still had to go play to earn a berth. Here's Duarte. And the pass to Sabonis to stop the run. It's rebounded by Barrett. Over to the left wing. Stockton. Good. Stockton. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Here's Sumner. He's covered by Stockton. Mitadze, the pass to Orte. Over Leitner. Got a hand on it. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. Stockton outside. Launches a three. It's good from long range. John Stockton. Stockton's got three. 19 points. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. It has to be Tadze. And Holiday has it in the corner. It has to be Tadze. Porter with a block. And you know, as he learns the game at this level, he's going to block more shots. Porter has the length and the ability to move his feet. Stockton dishes to Bird. That's another one for him. Bird. His fifth in just seven shots. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Here's Torche. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Barrett kicks to Porter. And it falls over the rim and in. And a smooth shooting stroke off the catch. Porter clearly excels in those situations. Out to the right wing. a bonus against Bird. Right side, Sabonis. And the call will be against R.J. Barrett. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. And we all value a dose of humility from time to time, even, you know, Steve from the start. But what do you think is the right balance between bravado and modesty? You know, I think you always got to have uh, character and respect. I think that's where it comes from. But in during competition, as long as you're not crossing the line, I think it's okay. Here's Sumner. Shoots over Malone. And the Pacers can't get it to go. It's Barrett on the wing, guarded by Holiday. Taken away by Holiday. Here's Sumner. Pass to Duarte. Malone with the steal. And here's Stockton. Inside. 
And there's Carl Malone on the assist by Stockton. Assist goes to Stockton's got John five assists Stockton. tonight. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. The 18-footer is right John on the mark. Stockton. Stockton's got 21. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Here's Duarte. The pass to Sumner. Shot clock at six. And the foul Away called on ABC. John That's foul number two for him. For a number of seasons, offensive output, Greg, has been on the rise, as we've seen. But last year, it went to a whole different level. I mean, how about two years ago with, with Dallas? They had the greatest offensive season since all the way back in 1973, averaging over 116 points per 100 possessions. Get this, last year, seven teams beat that record. Pass to Sumner. It's tipped. Now Barrett pushing it up, and no one back to stop him. Oh, and the jam by Barrett. This guy is a fantastic athlete. Barrett looking like a man on a mission with that slam. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Here's Duarte, and foul oh, on the shot, five. so he'll get a chance at the line. Barrett. That's his second It's on R.J. Barrett. Third team foul. At the line, for the Pacers, two shots. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. Positions aren't as easily defined, Smitty, as they used to be in the NBA. Most players have to play a number of roles now. That's totally true, Kevin. The more versatile you are, the more valuable you are. Teams want guards who can crash the boards and big men who can dish it out. Outside Holiday. Over to the wing. Here's Duarte. Malone with the block. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailing. Holiday against Stockton. Good. John Stockton. Stockton's got 15 points here in the second half. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Duarte passes to Sumner. Outside Holiday. Shoots the three. The rebound by Malone. Two minutes remaining in the game. Malone's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Stockton passes to Malone. And Malone gets double team. Six on the shot clock. A rebound by Bitadze. On offense, here are the Pacers. Holiday up top, guarded by Porter. Passes it to Sumner. To the middle. Outside Holiday. Holiday with another miss. Now Stockton. 
looking back at the previous decade, Steve, in the NBA, super teams have been dominant in the league. Do you like the ones with two or, or three stars? You know, each has its advantages, Kevin. The two-star model allows for a deep bench. We saw that with AD and LeBron in L.A. But the three-star alignment, a la the Brooklyn Nets, those can be potent on the offensive end. Both work if you're raising up those trophies. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. Look oh, out! Here he oh, comes! Oh, that was amazing, and look Ooh. at the elevation! Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Malone with the block. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Now, here's Barrett, guarded closely. From downtown, and he's good on the Our three ball. Barrett. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry, but it can go the other way as well. The visiting club takes the win on the road. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. See you next time.